now that we've gone through all the reports, which reports are going to be more likely to be internal use reports and which reports are going to be more likely to be external reports or both. So we've got the business overview. We talked about the balance sheet, of course, can be internal and external. So you might save a, a copy of the balance sheet formatted for internal use as opposed to external use. And then we have these variants on the balance sheet. The summary balance sheet also, to me, is not really an internal report. It's more of an external report because it gives you more or, or less detail. So, so I want to see the detail for internal reporting, typically when I'm trying to create the books. But for presentation purposes, that to me would be a, an external report. You might format and put as part of your package for external reporting. And then you've got your, your comparative balance sheets. These are the ones that I would create. Oftentimes, those are going to be external reports, although you might have some comparative reports that you would put together from time to time, depending on what you're thinking about for internal uh, reporting purposes. And then you've got the profit and loss as a percentage of total. That's another variant of the income statement, which I would create myself for external reporting typically. And then you got the profit and loss comparison. Again, external report to me for presentation purposes most of the time. Obviously, if it's your business and you're doing your own analysis, then you are the management. So you, you also have an in another kind of role that you're not just generating the financial statements, you're also analyzing them in that case. And you might use some of these comparative reports for that as well. And then you've got profit and loss by customer. These are all variants in essence of the profit and loss.